Hello everybody, it is Landcat here, and, um, we're back with Super Mario Galaxy. I started the series on the Wii, and I just never ended up finishing it, since that's in... That just happens with my channel, I never really finish any of the games I start, which is a shame, but, uh, I'm hoping to do that with this series. Um, this is on the Nintendo Switch, Super Mario Galaxy, um, for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, so... I guess we're gonna create a game file on planet number one, so that'll be nifty. I think I'm gonna pick Toad. Um, this pointer thing is really cool, though. I thought I found that very interesting. So yes, I want to use that icon. Okay then. So, I guess we're going to play this, I guess. Um, here we go. So, every hundred years, a comet appears in the sky, uh, in the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, jeez. Um, above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year that it filled the skies, uh... And sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they came, uh, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate. Uh, By the go, you know the you know the the comet. Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give to you. Yee, I'm gonna go get the girlfriend. Wahaha! Whoa, this is amazing. The graphics on this look so much better than they did on the Wii. Wow. This is amazing. I like to think of this game as like Super Mario 64 too. Just because of like how the game like looks at the beginning with like uh the castle and everything i kind of like to think of it as like the sequel to 64 like the true sequel sunshine it took place after the events of 64 but oh god i'll continue after Well, jeez. Oh my god, this is terrible, dude. This is terrible. Wow, they're all like getting terrorized. Dude, this is messed up. Look at that toad, the poor toad. Oh my god, this is messed up, dude. This is such a peaceful place, and he just has to go ahead and destroy it all.
all good. Well, talk about a dramatic cutscene. Jeez, where am I? Well, it looks like I met some weird little planet with some lumas. Hmm. Oh, it turned into a bunny. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Okay, I'll play with you. This music just makes me feel like I'm in a dream, dude. Like, I die and then I'm in a dream. How can Mario be so fine with this? He's probably thinking, well, I'm dead. You caught me. Look for real, Mario probably thinks he's dead. Oh, I know I should have hidden in the crater. That ain't no crater, that's a stump. Well, just goes to show you, this is the first orchestrated, um, like fully orchestrated th uh, Mario game ever, so it just kind of goes to show you how much some instruments can immerse you into a video game. I always think, what will the day be like when Mario, uh, the voice of Mario, Charles Martinet, dies? gonna be a sad day but he's um 55 so from what I remember the website said he was 55 but all right well okay hey I found the bunny there he was. There's the bunny. Okay, let's go get him. Okay, come on. There we go, caught him. You caught me. Oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. Which conveniently we were right next to. Which should make this capture really easily done. But of course with me nothing's ever simple, so. Oh, come on, you're so close. There we go, finally. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Yay. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. And their mama is the one and only Rosalina. <clears throat> I gotta get my throat ready for this one. <clears throat> I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special someone, you'll need to travel through space. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I'll entrust you with his care. Bam! With that, I can twist my body to kill some things. Disaster has struck us just as it has struck you. With Luma, I hope you can retrieve the grand stars. May the stars be with you. Okay, um... Bang! 
Okay, well, we're here. Um, we're going to be doing some things, I guess. Um, okay. Bam! Got one star piece. Um, hi there, good to see you. I've got some bad news, though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but this guy smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find the stars, chips to fix it, and don't forget to not fall in the black hole. Dude, we're in outer space. The gravity right here doesn't really make any sense. Like, you figure... You... There's no gravity, so why are you falling back down to the ground so quickly? Bam! Okay, I guess we're supposed to go help him then. One of them has to have a key or something. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key, just as I thought. You can shake or press Y to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Okay. Um, anyways. Okay, or not. Okay, that's a coin. Okay, perfect. Get him. And get him. Okay, um, dude, get the health. Get the health, you idiot. You should have gotten it when you had three. Okay, well, there's the key finally. If just having the key unlocks that door, then when that Goomba had the key, how come it didn't unlock the door automatically, too? That doesn't really make any sense to me, but whatever, I guess. Transform! Um. Okay, oh, guy. Okay, jeez, jeez, jeez. Um. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's very funny. Very funny that you say that now. Okay. Three health. Could have been a very bad day. Okay. Kill him. Got him. Sitting with that door. I don't get how that happens, but whatever. Whatever. To take damage, I'll grab a coin to get some health back. Down here. My favorite Mario game's got to be Mario 64, though. It's just always been like one of my favorite. Mario 64 or Galaxy 2. We're using the grand star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. You have to do something before the grand star's power is drained. <sighs> Man, I am tired. Oh, that's tough. I didn't really get much sleep last night. I've been I've been playing a game with my brother called Among Us. It's pretty popular right now. Okay. What am I doing? I just... Okay, um... Okay, oh lord! 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 Chili! Chili pepper! Chili, 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 chili! Chili, good chili next. Um, 
Dude, you just missed the coin that you could have grabbed for health, but whatever. Okay, great. We have the grand star now. There it is. Okay. Well, um, I guess we're going to get the star, and that's that. I have the grand star now. Yay! I guess now I know why they call it Super Mario 3D All Stars. It's because it's all stars. That was a pretty terrible joke. I'll admit that. But I think Sunshine um, is more of like a post Super Mario 64, not as much of a sequel. I think it's just post the events, like they went on a, a vacation. But I think this is more of a, um, oh, sorry. I think this is more of a, like, true sequel to it. With much better graphics, but, you know. Something's charming about its polygon, I guess. Um polygonness, whatever you want to call it. I've discovered a new galaxy. Cool, 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 cool. I don't care. Um, dude, why do I keep doing that? Okay, well, um... <clears throat> the beacon is lit again! It shines weekly. Maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but it'll at least help the poor Lumas live. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These people mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It is my home and a home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area every hundred years. But we stopped in front of this planet. A strange force has landed on it, pulling away our ship and star bits. Our ship had lost power and put it in a deep hibernation. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use the few remaining stars to look for other power stars. There are these round rooms called domes. We observe uh, the galaxies from these domes. But one is working right now. You need star powers, uh, star power from the terrace. Please go to the terrace to recover sta uh, power stars from other galaxies. If you do that, we'll be able to restore the comet observatory's uh, ability to be able to fly the starship. Then we can uh, perhaps find the person who ran off of the power stars. Save your game. I'm going to have to say yes. I'm going to have to say yes. I'm going to have to say yes. Sorry about that. But um, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did so, like and subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.